Welcome to the ironic multi tenancy demo we have done at Mirantis. We're using DevTag plus some patches from Gerrit that are not merged to Ironic yet. Sister Catalyst switch, three hardware nodes plugged into that switch, and the generic ML2 driver that you can find on that link. So, first let's check the Ironic node list. We have three Ironic nodes registered enrolled with Ironic. Uh, these are real IPMI nodes using the upstream Ironic Python agent image bootstrap images. We have ports assigned to those nodes in Ironic, and the ports already have the local link connection info filled in with info on what switch in which port the current node is plugged into. You see that now these nodes are plugged into the default VLAN number one. So the addresses are gig01, gig03 and gig07 as far as I remember. We also have the Ironic Provision Network created in Neutron that is using the VLAN 163. You see it also on the switch. Now let's go to the. Oh, and oh, we also show that the this network is registered in Ironic as the provisioning network. Now let's go to the user tenant. So this is the demo tenant and demo user created by the dev stack. We don't have any networks right now in this tenant and no instances running. Let's create a network inside this tenant. And this takes some time. Not there yet, but now we should have it. Yes, we see that there is a new network created with a new VLAN 144 and we also created the subnet and the router. We check that this is exactly the network we were looking for, so with DLAN 144. This can be done only from admin tenant to show the VLAN numbers. And nothing is plugged into this VLAN yet. Let's boot a bare metal instance via Nova inside this network at the tenant one. We see the node already is in deploying state with instance UAD assigned. And let's boot another one in this tenant. Now we have two of them. And we have two nodes in deploying state. Now let's wait for them to come up. Although the NOVA lists them already as having an IP from the tenant network, it actually doesn't have one yet. Now checking on the switch, we see that those two instances are now plugged into the provisioning VLAN, so VLAN of the provisioning network. The pixie booting inside this network and we see that the IP they get is from the provisioning network. So let's cut this short and now everything is, has already booted and provisioning is almost done. Now the nodes are being rebooted to start up inside the tenant network. We see that one of them is already plugged into the tenant network. So the switch has assigned has been assigned the VLAN to the provision to the tenant network. And we see it start booting from the local disk inside of instead of Pixie. Uh, now both of them are 
plugged into the tenant network. Uh, let's see. Let's wait while the second node is flying up. Cutting this short. So checking the network list. We won't use the floating IP. We will simply go inside the network space that was created for this network. Just for demo purposes. Let's ping these APs. It works. Second one is still flying up. Let's log in into the first instance. We were booting a real Ubuntu image, not a serious one. Some problems with old key host keys stored in node hosts. Quickly fixing it. And we are able to log in. This also proves that the Nova metadata was executed successfully. Second instance is already up, so we can ping it from the first instance. And now let's go to another tenant, also pre-created by DevStack with user alt demo. Again, checking the network list. Only public one is here, no instances there. And let's create another network. Note that they're using the same seeder range as the network inside the first tenant. It's perfectly allowable by Neutron. So, network has been created. We see it has a VLAN 154. And again, nothing is plugged inside this, this VLAN yet. Let's boot a VM inside this tenant, the second one. Now let's check. Ironic node list. Using admin credentials. Node is in deploying state already. We see that the node has been also plugged to the provisioning network, the 163 on the right. So now everything is has booted and provisioning is almost done. network namespace of the second tenant. Let's try to ping the 
1.4 machine, it's not pingable, it's not accessible. The dot three machine is also not accessible, it's still not plugged into the tenant VLAN. of all the nodes we have created and we see that this third node is already plugged into another VLAN of the second tenant let's wait for it to boot up appropriately think it's running it's because it's declared running as soon as the operation system starts to boot let's wait for it to come up by pinging it from the respective namespace and it's up and running now let's log into this instance of the second tenant same problems with SSH keys and we are able to successfully connect to that using the key so again Nova metadata has been successfully applied you see that both nodes and both tenants have the same IP but they're in different networks so from the alt demo tenant we cannot ping the machine from the first tenant now let's check the TCP dump on the machine from the demo tenant we see ISMP requests coming up from the first instance in this tenant that's too much noise from SSH, let's filter, uh, filter it out and let's try to ping it from the alt demo tenant and we see no incoming request, even no incoming requests here on this side so the networks are really separated and the bare metal machines from different tenants cannot access each other now let's try the accessibility of the control plane let's get us some endpoint from a keystone so from some service in OpenStack like the keystone endpoint here and let's try to access it from its from bare metal instances of any tenant curling is not working and even pinging is not working too let's repeat the same from the first tenant and 
we see that we cannot access the control plane from bare metal nodes, so they are truly isolated. Thank you for your attention.